Today, NASA said it may consider new proposals from other top space companies to get back to the moon. There are rising concerns that Elon Musk's SpaceX is behind schedule as the U.S. tries to beat China in the lunar landing race. Senior national correspondent Mark Strassman, who covers NASA for us, joins me now. So, Mark, what prompted this? A ticking clock, John, I think is is one way to sum it up. Uh, the U.S. is in a space race with the Chinese to get to the moon. The Chinese want to be there by 2030. The U.S. goal is officially is uh, 2027. And here is the issue. Uh, the U.S. hired uh, SpaceX to build a lunar lander version of its Starship rocket. That rocket has had issues. It has in-flight issues, explosion issues, and now NASA simply believes that it is behind schedule and that that delay is, is potentially worrisome. SpaceX is also has a complicated architecture to get to the moon that involves in-space refueling, potentially more delays. And so Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy made news today. He's also um, NASA's acting administrator. He essentially said, we want more options. We want other companies to come forward with their ideas, effectively saying, we don't want to put all of our eggs in, this, in the SpaceX basket because of these delays. So what other company might be plausible for this kind of stuff? Well, NASA's encouraging all companies, space companies, to uh, submit proposals by October 29th. Uh, two names immediately come to mind. One is Old Space, one is New Space. Let's talk about New Space first, which is uh, Blue Origin, Jeff Bezos. Um, it's already designing and building a lunar lander for Artemis V, which is a, a moon landing mission scheduled for some time in the 2030s. Old Space is Lockheed Martin. It's the prime contractor already for the Orion space capsule. Um, we talked to them today. Uh, they said that their approach would be the simplest and fastest way to get to the moon, but it's already 2025. And so for them to get started now on this, they said they, they just could not commit even to a 2028, 2029 uh, moon landing. And so that's gonna be very, very challenging too. Yeah. Another big question, John, is NASA has to come up with a way to pay for this, has to, to hire either or both of these companies, and where that money's coming from is also not clear.